Alright guys, in today's video I've got my Tegra Note 7 right here and I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the bootloader on this device. To go ahead and do this, what we got to do is we got to get into settings and we have to turn on development options. So we're going to go to about and then you're going to tap on your build number a whole ton of times and then it's going to say you are a developer. You go back, you go to developer options and you make sure it's turned out there in the top corner and you hear right here it says USB debugging. You'll go ahead and make sure that it is checked. Once those are checked, go ahead and connect your device boop, right there with the cable like mine is and it'll install the drivers on your computer. Make sure right there you can see you have USB debugging enabled and you want to be in this right here media device mode. That's checked. Once you've got those things um, we can go over to the computer and start running some commands and get this bootloader unlocked. Alright guys, so here we go on the computer. So what we're going to need to do, some of the drivers are not going to install correctly defaultly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you in, install this right here. It's called, or download it, it's called uh, Impactor. And I'll give you uh, links to it. And then extract it, and it's going to look like this. And then you're going to right here go to Impactor. And right here it says USB and then do scan for USB and it's going to come up with a window saying do you want to run this go ahead and run it and it'll make sure the um, Android debugging USB drivers are going to be installed so that ADB works correctly okay we can then you can leave this window this program running right here um, you know it's right there so just leave it running for right now because you'll use it later then you're going to go right here and you're going to download this folder right here and it'll be again a zip and you'll extract it I'll give you links to it and you just put it on your computer somewhere extracted you can leave it in the other file there if you want I have mine under C drive um, and you're gonna have these full files in it once it's extracted so pretty simple here from here what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold shift on your keyboard on your uh, keyboard for your computer here right click open command window here all right, and to make sure your drivers are functioning correctly, you're just going to type in ADB device. I'm oh, capitalized here. ADB devices, and that's going to prove that your device is functioning and your drivers are installed correctly. And they are. So you should have some kind of a serial number and a device saying device. That means your drivers are functioning and everything is working on your device. Alright, so from here, we're going to actually reboot into bootloader. So what we're going to type in is ADB, ADB, reboot, boot, load, or, uh, if I can spell it correctly, loader. And that's going to reboot our device into bootloader mode. So go ahead and press this command with enter. And it should be on a black screen. It looks like it's off, but it's actually in bootloader mode. So to test this, so to test this, and what you may need to do if your driver, your fast boot drivers don't install correctly, is come back here, do that, run this again, and then make sure these drivers are installed. Okay. So then what you do over here is you just type in fast boot space devices and it checks to make sure your here's your serial number here for fastboot and it says fastboot if that's working that means your fastboot commands are functioning and those drivers are installed so now we can go to the next step and I'm just gonna look it up really quick here it is right here fastboot OEM unlock so we'll copy it you'll have, you'll have it it's not a big deal and paste it in so fastboot OEM unlock and then we're gonna see what happens on our device so hit enter Bootload info is already unlocked, so that's a good thing. So this device is actually already unlocked. It's not a big deal. We're still in fast boot mode. That just proves that your bootloader is unlocked indeed. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and get root access on this thing while I'm at it. So that should be fun. This is just proves that we have an unlocked bootloader. So we're back in ADB as you can see here. So we're still in that folder. Let's go ahead and run these other commands here really quick.
but we're going to also have uh, downloaded if you want to get root access here I'll show you the file we're going to need here it's going to be right here it's root tn7 image and I'll give you a link to it so you're going to copy it and you're going to put it in your ADB folder ADB and you're going to paste it right here paste and that's going to be very important because you're going to flash that next so we're still in our command window so what I'm going to do is I'm going to well actually I can get the command from the computer here so we'll get the command here is the command so fast boot boot root image so you're just going to copy this over I'll give you links to this this form too uh, it's got some good directions in it and then you're going to come in here I'm going to go ahead and really double check to make sure fast boot's still working so fast boot devices and it is and then I'm just going to paste this in paste and hit enter downloading dun -dun -dun. and actually everything is powered up so you can see what's happening here is it's running through a script not really sure what this is it just booted out a bootloader and booted into here this should be installing that super user application rebooting in 10 seconds and the device is booting up so let's see uh, what happens once it boots up so here we go device is uh, booting up it says Android is upgrading and we're back on so let's go ahead and see if we have root access on this device and sure enough there it is and we didn't even wipe out um, the device because we are already unlocked this thing obviously comes factory default unlocked for the bootloader which is just wicked cool and then just to prove we have root access just open a root application this is what I have right here go into tools I'm gonna say root grant it root access and uh, I'm gonna mount this as read write just because I like to do this doop -de doop okay and boom that's it you have an unlocked bootloader. You proved it through the through the command prompts here. You flashed over the root image that you needed with the four penguins and a little script it ran through. And now you have root access on your Tegra Note 7. Very, very cool process right here. Not too hard. Pretty simple, actually. Sorry about the tilted camera, the sideways view here. It's just this USB cable. Um, it's got to be exactly where it is. So... Anyway, um, you can close the windows on your computer, you have root access on your device, you have an unlocked bootloader, um, and hopefully I might be able to get you guys a custom recovery here too very soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that, um, and we'll go from there, maybe get some ROMs rolling and stuff like that. Anyway, that's it. That is how to unlock the bootloader or prove that it's unlocked. Um, get root access on your device, and uh, we'll keep continuing on on this awesome Tegra Note 7. Root Junkie, out.